everybody, Jess here with Flourish Forest. Hey, cool. So it's getting to be about Halloween-ish time and that means we get to make some really creepy stuff. The first thing that, uh, of course, that I love making around Halloween are these super cute little barrettes, these little spider dilly doos in your hair brooches or sun catchers with the little crystal. There's a video on how we make these um, somewhere around here You that you should check out. The other fun thing that I'm super obsessed with lately is I got this new mold. I have a mold. It's a mold. Um, it's actually a chocolate mold, believe it or not, that we are not using for chocolate. We're making these super cute um, Goals with them. Pretty basic, super fun. But the cool thing about these, that you, in case you didn't know, that I'm not going to show you today, um, but I will at some point, is that if you get an LED lamp and set it on the bottom of this thing, it glows like a beacon. It is super cool. But the cool thing about these is they're um, they're pretty easy to make. And I'll show you what we do with them. But also, they're super easy to make awesome with a little bit of clay and a little bit of imagination. Super cool, right? Yes. Yeah. But Jesse, the skulls, they're so creepy. I don't understand why you're making things that they're so creepy. Everybody's got a skull. This skull is your skull. This skull is my skull. This skull was made for you and me. I think what I'm going to do with this one is do like some cool candy skull designs on it. It's going to be awesome. Want to see how we did it? Of course you do. Let's check it out.
So these suckers are going to make a fantastic addition to our booth when we are at All Hollows this weekend in Sonora for the most fantastic fire show you've ever seen and an amazing costume contest. So making these is super fun. If you like what you see here, you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to support nerdy ass art and um, that way we can continue to bring you more of this madness. Of course, if you like these or any other of my artworks, everything is for sale, darling. You can find me on all my social media platforms that I um, have posted for your convenience down below. You go, go! <laughs> Good job. It's also a really great place for you to leave comments to let me know what you think of these little guys and, of course, anything else that... Um, that catches your eye. One question for you though, speaking of this, and you could comment below and let me know what you think. Seashells or no seashells? Leave it as is or put some seashells on it? What do you think? What do you think, YouTubeverse? Let me know what you think I should do. The other thing I'm going to do at some point for you guys for you to see is I'm going to make a mold um, out of one that looks like this and it's going to be awesome and as soon as my stuff gets here I'm going to show you how to do it. You know it's been a successful crafting night when you have managed to cover yourself from head to toe in as much paint as possible. Oh! Oh! One more thing! We are so close to hitting 50 subscribers that's 50 people who actually like to watch me make messes all the time that is awesome you guys rock thank you so much make sure to tell your friends spread the word and I will stop waving a paintbrush into the camera Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Have a nerdy-ass day. Bye!